Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started working with this uh, model over here. Let's continue it. Let's create this inside this. Go into this. Enable in viewport and reduce its thickness. Drag it over here. So just duplicate this over here. So you can make one more copy of it. So make so make this copies in this way. Let's take a cylinder over here. Take auto grid. Let's take a cylinder over here. So convert to editable poly. Press 4. Extrude. Before extruding this, again extrude, again extrude on top of it. So just select the edges and let's give a chamfer. So just give a bit of chamfer. Select this edges over here. Press R and you can just scale it if it is required, or you can just extrude this edge. And you can just you can just push this inside and increase this value. and click OK. Alright. So now again take a box over here. Just take a box. So give some segments to it like and let's give a noise modifier. Reduce its scale. can just give a bit of noise over here or even you can make it more uneven so just scale this and give a turbo smooth over here just duplicate this rotate it all right save your file so we can give a bit of a basic texture over here just select this both rendering render setup and let's give a go into v-ray let's go into material let's take a v-ray material over here let's go into this bitmap desktop and interior texture we can just check out any of our good wooden texture so we'll just give this texture that is a 
wood texture over here so select this UVW map UVW map and set it as a box so select this again UVW map set it as a box save your file so just select this press M again take a V-ray material let's give a color to it and let's give a bit of reflection to it remove this so you want to give you can just give some uh, fresnel reflections to it not a problem select this again go into material we'll be just assigning some rough materials on it bitmap and if we have some kind of a wall painting texture we can go with that just a wall paint or you can just give any kind of a texture on it UVW map set it alright select this go into the polygons exclude this material let's give a V-ray material and let's just give a grey color to it and if you want to give a bit of a roughness you can just give a roughness and assign a control I material go into V-ray material and let's just give a black color to it. So same thing we'll be duplicating this over here just resize this. So let's go into this polygons So select this all polygon Assign this color Inverse it Inverse this V-ray material And let's just give a bit of a light light brownish color alright not a problem so let's assign a grayish color to this also and also we'll be assigning one ceramic texture over here so let's take a V-ray material bitmap and we'll just assign a ceramic texture so 
so go into this UVW map and set it as a cylinder and fit it perfect so go into material again and you want give it a reflection you can just give it a reflection on it so select this again go into material and let's let's give this brown color to it save your file again I'm just giving some basic textures I'm not going with much more details over here for mm -hmm. now you can unwrap if it if it is required so I'll go into this I'll take a color over here assign it just give a bit of reflection let's go into polygon inverse give a texture inverse over here for now I'm just giving a white color over here you can just assign this if you want you can just uh, create it so go into material again assign this white color select this this and this give this brown color Again go into material, assign the same brown color over here. For the books, you can just give a white color to it. Or if you have some kind of a texture for it, you can go with the texturing part. Or else you can just uh, assign this white color to it material assign a white color so for this same uh, ceramic material which we have assigned over here Accidentally, we have assigned the so select this go into the material so select this alright exclude this alright so select this polygon and give this ceramic material ceramic we can give a bit of reflection to it and inverse it and just give this all right so now 
select the stones again go into this V-Ray material and we'll just give some kind of a dark stone color So we can just assign this textures over here UVW map again give a UVW map set it as a box and just save your file So if you're looking for this to create this, it's easy over here that can be created using a box over here. Just take a convert to poly, select this, scale it down. Extrude this, push this out. Extrude this a bit, click OK, go into the vertices and can make it sharp. So definitely you can just create that. You can just scale this. Save your file. Numericals can be created with the texture also. You can just go into this hierarchy. Effect pivot only. Just push it over here and then you can just duplicate it Stop. that's it you can just push that out and you can just give a black color to it okay. so just rotate this and Shift it inside. All right. So you can just select this and this and push it at the center. So you can go with some Roman numericals also if you want to put it manually you can go with that also. So if you have some Roman then you can search with the Roman fonts or else 
So we can just go with this. You can just scale this. You can just push this over here. You can just extrude it. Just extrude this part. So you can go into this hierarchy effect pivot only, and you can just switch it to the center of that. So now you can just rotate this. So you can go into this and write two over here. Two over here, so hierarchy center to object and just rotate it. So you need to work in this way, then two and three can go with that way. So again, go into this. Go into text, write three. Again, drag it over here. Make it four. Can make it. Five over here. And six. Six. Can just seven. make it as 7 8 make this as 8 and 9 make this as 9 10 make this as 10 11 so you can go with the texturing also if you want and last is your print so definitely this can be adjusted afterwards also make it That's it. so So if you select this, select this all and just push it right over here on top of that. So let's go into the material and let's give a black material, right click and end isolate this. That's it. So you have just created this stuff. Save your file. So thanks for watching this tutorial.